Test one, two, test in the mic, audio test. Sounds all right. Maybe it needs to come up a bit. Boosting it a bit, testing one, two, one, two. Testing full volume. One, two, one, two. All right, okay. Let's go ahead and... Get this going. Goose audio on. Music on. Webcam on. Everything's looking all right. Let's transition it in. Howdy, folks. Let's do one more... One more test, one more audio test, see if this is coming out all right. One more audio test, see if this is coming out all right. Seems okay. Seems okay. All right. Howdy, y'all, and welcome back to another workflow live stream here at Country Fried Minis. Um, this, for those of you who don't know, uh, this is a stream in which I um, showcase what's going on behind the scenes, what goes into putting together a video here for Country Fried Minis, and also kind of is just the work I'm doing anyways. Um, really, it's, like I said, it's, it's just what I'm doing. Um, and I've decided to do this, uh, run in series out of it, um, where I showcase what's going on behind the scenes. And, um, I find that the, the stream setup keeps me, um, at my workstation. So if you'll bear with me, I got a little bit of a issue here that's bothering me. I don't know if y'all see it, but the webcam hanging outside the TV a little bit there we go looking a little better looking a little better um, okay so today's offering is gonna have us putting together a another shorts offering for the channel um, it's a way to get content out and keep it rolling in addition to um, buying myself more time to work on the bigger projects so currently the 28 millimeter Marauder project is kind of caught up in limbo. Um, I'm not quite done with it. And then it's got a whole bunch of editing to do um, as well, which will probably feature a multi-part. Um, another, uh, another live stream like this. Um, okay, so. Uh, looks like the goose is bringing us something here. Uh, a reminder to enjoy this happy Billy Day. Um, uh, once again, uh, as I've stated before in previous live streams, if you're a friend of the channel, if you're a fan of the channel, and there are any fun memes you'd like to send my way, go ahead and check out my email address in the about page. and Send them my way and I can pop them in for the goose to bring on screen. Anyhow, digressing, let's go ahead and get this here project started. Somebody messaging me? Hello. Um, yeah, one of my homies is messaging me. Let's see if they might pop into the stream. If not, it's not a concern. Okay, so we are starting the paint stripping project right now. And this will might lag out a little bit as it gets created. I apologize for that. Uh, Premiere is, is pretty pretty heavy on the system. Um, I'm being asked, what you doing? Just started up a stream for the afternoon. All right, so 
um, starting this project, I have some footage that I just recorded today um, and some footage that uh, I lost somewhere in these <laughs> countless folders. Now, I know it's in here, but I'm going to have to scrub through and find the one with the with the things going into the paint. And I bam right there. There it is. Okay. Fantastic. So, with that, we have some of the assets necessary or most of the assets necessary, I should say. Let's go ahead and hop over to the strip and paint and plonk it down. I now have the going into the paint stripping material and the coming out of the paint stripping material and I think to complete that we're gonna need a another bit of 3d text from tech studio oh the goose uh, is reminding me once again to remind y'all to enjoy a nice tall cup of cafe Bustello in the mornings it is the finest coffee I have ever had the pleasure of tasting not a sponsor but I am enjoying a cup right now if you want a rich nutty full-bodied cup of coffee that's great with just a little bit of cream uh, I use a touch of almond milk no I don't even add sugar to it uh, but it is a fantastic coffee I can't recommend it enough about ten dollars a can you should pick some up if you're a coffee drinker again not a sponsor um, anyhow let's go ahead and log into this here techstudio.com a reminder I pay a yearly subscription here that gives me access to um, all the fonts that are on offer and um, I can't recommend it enough if you're a, if you're a project maker that needs fun fonts in your videos or in your images um, it's really convenient and a really fun tool. So, from here, we're looking for something that screams paint stripping. Um, and what that looks like, I don't really know. No idea, but I'm sure it'll jump out at me. Um, usually, I'm looking for like a nice fat font, something that's really easily readable on the uh, vertical video format um, so we'll check it out I see uh, we have a viewer in the lobby um, please let me know if the audio is off or anything needs to be adjusted um, I try to check it from time to time but um, to be quite frank the the goose is uh, making slappy footprint noises in my ears the whole time so it's hard to it's hard to work out I think digressing I think this is our this might be our paint stripping right here let's let's call it easy paint stripping Um, paint stripping made easy. Um, hmm. Paint stripping starting. It's not looking great, honestly. There's got to be something better. Something about that um, that one color across all of it is was not not ideal. I saw another one that kind of had that splattery... Yeah, here we go. How's this going to look? Paint stripping. It's hard to read. I 
I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. Oh, how I wonder. So I've got to have something that's going to read easily and very clearly because it's only going to be on the screen for a few seconds. Um, and honestly, the splattery stuff is just not, it's really not doing it for me. I, I'd love it to. Now that I'm in this, it's actually kind of a kind of a tough one. Kind of a tough one indeed. Let's see what this looks like. Paint. Sh stripping. Stripping. That's kind of funny. Old paint. Yeah, that's that's probably better. Let's remove the background. I like this a lot. Let's do that. We're gonna download it. We're gonna go max resolution. We're gonna go PNG with it, and we're gonna download this logo. All right. Um, as always, I'm gonna rip it out of my downloads folder and pop it where it needs to go. Let's stick it in here. All right, and now that we have that, um, we can start putting together the assets um, in the project panel. So let me put this window off to the side. We're gonna dump in these two videos. We're gonna dump in stripping old paint PNG file. We're going to go up into Country Fried Video Production, and in the Assets, I've got the VHS overlay, as is tradition. I've got the uh, static effects. Go into these assets here to the Sounds folder. And I have a static thing here. Um, 652 chunk and den. Thank you, Goose. Okay. Uh, from here, let's go ahead and start building a timeline. We need to dump in both of these videos. We need to... Also drop in, let's do this here. Let's get these here, staticky boys. Uh, and we what we want for the static is two full seconds of it. Just like before. So we'll go to the end here, click the timeline, calculate two seconds back. Alrighty. Snip it right in half, and then go forward one full second. Oh, if I could just click where I mean to. All right. No goose. Not now. So we can get rid of this soundtrack and the original bit. And what I have is the end of this audio, or the end of this static is now going to be at the start of the project. Let me zip it on down there. I'm realizing this is a big long video uh, as recorded. All right, so uh, if you've missed it before in our um, putting together shorts videos. The idea is that a shorts video plays over and over if you just let it go. So what I've done is I've taken the last second off of that TV glitch and I've put it at the start of the project. And then the second before that goes at the end. So what, in effect what it does is makes the, the loop over as seamless as possible. 
Okay, so uh, now we've got to think about this just a little bit as to what needs to be shown in the project. And I think, let's go ahead and get rid of this second, second video here so it's a little more clear what we're working with. Save the progress. And um, let's start by getting the sequence size correct. So we want a 1080p video. So it's going to be 1080 by 1920. So normally a video, again, is 1920 by 1080. We flip those around to get that nice vertical video um, setup. So uh, it's going to tell me it wants to delete all previous. That's fine. Let's go on into it. Back in, I'm holding Alt and scrolling the mouse wheel to zoom in. And uh, using the mouse wheel to navigate the timeline. For those of you who don't know how to use Premiere, um, I'll just share these little shortcuts that I like to use. Um, all right, so from here I've got all this audio that's got like copyrighted music going on. So I'm going to make sure link selection is off and I'm going to delete that audio track. Okay, so from here I need to see what's going on, actually. Do I put both of those out? All right. I think this is it right here. Let's take five full seconds of this let's call it maybe six seconds of it yeah all right delete that in the end basically we need to do I guess 56 to 57 seconds worth of video clip and kind of illustrate in that time, we need to illustrate what um, what we're trying to say, right? And in this case, it's I'm showing these models with paint. I'm showing the chemical we'll be using. Which I'm now kind of realizing might be hard to hard to show snap that off let's go five seconds into the future I'm looking at this and I might not be able to show the whole the whole LA's totally awesome deal Let's see what 150 looks like. I mean, wrong direction. I'm dumb. 75%. Hmm. I'm realizing that recording this the way I did is not super great. I might not show the jug now that I'm thinking about it. I just have to do this whole deal. So 59 seconds, 44 seconds. Yeah, let's do let's do 15 seconds on that. Sounds good to me. Dip it forward. 15 seconds. All right. So, I have this moment here where I'm showing the jug. It's a, it's a really large container. It's not showing up on the frame. We're just going to skip over that and instead use this 15 seconds where I show the container. 
So what that does mean is I need to dig up an image of LA's totally awesome. Let's get a nice, um, need an image that shows the bottle, got a nice clean white background, um, but also shows the whole bottle. That, I mean, that's the one, really. I just, I wish it had, didn't have the bottom of it cut off. Now that looks great. Let's copy that image and toss it into paint.net. Expand canvas. Uh, image crop to selection. And we're going to magic wand this thing out. Oh, it's having, it's having some struggles. It's having some issues getting the magic wand to work. Because even though this looks white, it is not white. It is like a, a bevy of, of different shades in the background. So I think to address this, going to have to use the eraser tool. Whenever this goose gives me my cursor back, there we go. Yeah, we're going to have to go all the way around this thing manually. Uh, which sucks, but hey, it is what it is. A uh, little at a time. You know, this can go this can go fairly smoothly. If you're zooming in, uh, just taking your time and staying steady at it. Uh, this is something I find is super necessary to do all the time in video production. Um, some of my previous streams have shown that uh, when making a thumbnail for a video, I like to have the, the subject that is painted at the end as the thumbnail. And the best way I find to, to show that is to just take my like final picture that I would take to show to people in the Discord or whatever and do this right here. Um, what I'd do is I'd make a second layer and then go around the subject in the top layer and what that'll do is it'll let me get the subject uh, fully lit and then I can make the background darker and create this like oh what's the best way to describe it? This this sense of focus. It'll, um, it's like it's the same image, but because the background is darkened, um, the viewer's eyes are drawn to what I am informing them to draw their eyes to by having that subject in full view. So th that's the theory behind why I would do this. But um, long story short, the reason I... Um, Uh, that's the reason I'm normally doing this. So I'm well versed in, in making this happen. Uh, a quick tip, if you're erasing edges in, in Photoshop or paint or whatever you're working in, uh, try to work in short bursts. Uh, that way you can be prepared when you make a mistake to uh, control Z it. Nothing worse than getting like 90% of the way through a nice, nice full rip down the side of something. And then you like, you go too far in and erase too many pixels and have to start all that over. So uh, again, yeah, short, short burst is the way to go. Anyhow, digressing, we're, we're coming down the other side, we're almost done with this, and then we'll have a nice clean asset to toss in. Since I couldn't get the LA's Totally Awesome on the frame like I'd like, um, I'll just have to do it this way, which is fine. I've done it in the last, like, I don't know, last three shorts videos, I've shown something. Uh, it's usually a paint color in the pot. 
So this is no different. Okay. And I'm getting getting ahead of myself here. Uh, super riveting content, I know. But um, again, it's this is what's going on behind it. You know, um, even a, a shorts video has a, a ton of work going into it for me. I know a lot of folks are able to just throw in whatever footage they already have from their phone and make it nice and easy. I just, I get the appeal of the shorts video as a low effort way to generate more content for the channel. And though this is less work than a full video, it's still, I find that I can't get away from my video editing style, right? So this is just the same thing I do for a full length video in a, um, in a short style, which is fine. Anyhow, so okay, so for here, we'll take the lasso tool and just select this whole bottle. Going through all that transparency, we just use the eraser tool to create, ensuring that we don't have any missed spots. And once we have it all selected, we can transform this into a nice clean PNG that'll go over top our uh, video. Because basically I'm showing a product that's already in a jar and not actually showing the product. I'll talk about it, but uh, it's nice to have that like visual aid. Okay, so from here, we can control X, we can control A, and we can delete, and we can paste that right back in. And now I've got this nice, clean background on the LA's totally awesome. So we'll go into the folder for strip and paint, and we'll call this LA's LA awesome. Done. Close this. Boom. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, uh, looking back over here, we'll go to our project panel and back into strip and paint and drop in the LA Awesome. Fantastic. So now we've got this whole clip here of showing the, the stuff, right? So we're going to dump in the LA's Totally Awesome. And, you know, I think that looks fine. Let's make it move around and, and be fun. So, we go to Effect Controls. We're going to put a Position, Scale, and Rotation. We're going to drop down some keyframes. Somebody's messaging me. It's, um, oh, I'm being asked... When am I gonna be done with the stream? Um, oh, let's 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 give an estimation. How long I've been at this so far? I've been at this for twenty nine minutes. I'm gonna let him know. Probably gonna be at this for like an hour, maybe. I don't know. Hard to estimate. It's hard to estimate how long these take. Sometimes I'm here for five hours. Sometimes I'm here for for two. Sometimes I, I'm i here for 20 minutes and the whole thing crashes down. So it's really hard to estimate, unfortunately. All right. So um, back to it. We have this here. Oh, I hear some god-awful music outside. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Let's zoom this out. There we go. And I think what I'm wanting to do is start this LA's Totally Awesome thing off to the side. And we're gonna jump it forward one second. And then drop down keyframes. And bring it onto the onto the screen, right? We'll make it go up 10% uh, in size, 25% in size. We'll rotate it. We'll rotate it a little bit if it give me the rotation option. Ooh, sometimes, sometimes Premiere, you are so frustrating. There's the rotation. Okay, and then from here, we're going to go five frames at a time, ten frames at a time. Okay, we'll go ten frames, we're going to have it start dipping down, we're going to rotate it a little bit. Let's say negative 16. I'm going to go back down here. 10 more frames. Pop these on. Position it down further. Another 5% rotation. Another 10 frames. And just rinse and repeat. Uh, position, bring it down a little further, rotate it even more, 5% turn, uh, same deal, rinse and repeat, and I mean this is obviously a little tedious, right? It's, it's a pain in the butt, but you know, you get through it and then it looks nice. Another 10 frames, another set of keyframes. Pull it off a little more. Another 5% rotation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Another set of keyframes. And uh, it's ironic that um, I find myself doing this because um, I think I stated in my last video. Uh, my last stream here. I'm in a I'm a student at SFSU and I'm currently in a class called Projects in the Teaching of Visual Arts. So in that class I assist the professor for um, Art 413 video art so I, I'm helping instruct some students uh, in the use of Premiere and it, it's I find that it's quite applicable uh, to the stuff I'm doing here that looks a little janky don't it looks a little janky looks just a little bit janky <laughs> oh no Okay, I think I need to make it hang a little longer in the air. So we're going to move the frame over 10 seconds and slide all this over. Oh boy, that's, that's just that's so jank. And we use LA's Totally Awesome in a container. Alright, yeah, it's good enough. Good enough. Who cares? It's a short video, right? Okay, so at this point, we've got the one second fuzz screen intro. We've got the five seconds of show in the model. We've got showing, putting the models into the container. And then the rest of the video is going to be pulling them out, scrubbing them down, and talking about how um, paint stripping actually works.
Okay. Uh, my apologies. I am very distracted by the Discord at the moment. Okay, let's dump in stripping old paint. We need to shrink this bad boy down. Let's call it 30%. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so. This is going to get the regular fade in. So we'll start here at, the, at, at one second. We'll jump forward to two seconds. Drop down a keyframe. We'll skip to the end of this clip. Go back one frame. Put a keyframe, go back one full second. Pow. All right, so this keyframe gets a 0%. This keyframe gets a 0%. And now we get this nice, like, fade in, fade out. Okay, so from here, um, Goose is mad. Goose is mad. Uh, from here, we need to. Okay, so, are we live again? Are we live? Did it come back? Please tell me it came back. This is insanity. I think Comcast just went down again. Are you working? Working. So OBS has crashed twice now. Are you back? got a hellacious delay actually got a hellacious delay it looks like it's working double audio it looks like it's working I can't really tell Man, things just going wrong for no real reason. Lovely. Anyhow, it looks like it's back. I can't really tell. I've got a like a busy symbol on my live streaming page. I've got a like a busy symbol on my live streaming page. When I pull up the stream itself. When I pull up the stream itself, it looks like it's working. All right, I'm just gonna roll with it. Gonna roll with it. Gonna roll with it. Oh. Oh. Nothing ever goes as planned. Okay, back to it. Back to the back to the grind. Back to the game here at hand. Um, where was I? Okay, we just put in the stripping old paint thingamabob. Um, I think right in the middle of that, we want to drop down a effect of blur. I've been really liking that on the intro sequence, so that's what I'll do. We're going to go effect controls. We're going to um, put this thing down. We're going to jump back to that point. We're going to put... Whoa. Is it Goose that's killing my computer? Is that what's going on here? Is it the Goose? 
Is there a memory link in your in your goose program there, Mr. Simple? Um No? No? Just computer unhappy. Looks fine. How's the stream looking? Let's give it a peek. Let's give it a peek, shall we? It's looking all right. No? Not really. It's looking all right. It's chug a luggin. No? Not really. It's chug a luggin. All right. Uh, hopefully the the stream is all right. If um. If it is running like garbage for you, please let me know in the um, text. Yeah, Goose is like running like crap. All right, Goose, let's close you. This is twice now I've tried to run this and like the computer just seems to melt while running the desktop Goose. There's gotta be a memory leak in it. Goodbye, Goose. It's a fun element of the stream, but for some reason, just my computer just don't want to, don't want to do it. Okay, so back to the stream at hand. Um, we have a second of static, which needs to be bumped up to, I think it was 270%. No, I don't have it actually selected. 270%, so we should get static, cuts into the thing, fades in, unblurs, um, getting like half a frame per second, trying to watch that preview. Can I just watch the preview? Okay. Let's see, how to render preview Premiere Pro. Oh my goodness. Tell me how to do it, it's, I'm looking up. Okay. Let's do an in, let's do an out. I should be able to render this somehow. Render effects in to out. Good lord. Um, you know, just a fun reminder that you need a hell of a beast to, to do video. To render video, to work on video. It's absolutely insane uh, how much computing power it requires. Okay. So it zooms in, there we go. We click transition over to there. We throw in the LA's totally awesome. Uh, maybe, maybe I need to wait a second before doing that. And it goes, brings out the stuff. LA's totally awesome. Um, hmm. Maybe this will look a little better if I adjust the rotation. So we'll go from negative 11 to five. And then we'll go back to negative seven. And we'll go back to 11. And we'll go negative four. And we'll go, that looks great there. Set this one back to negative uh, 45. See how that looks. Get a little wobble in it. Yeah, that looks a little more fun. It's silly, and uh, that's that's where I likes it. Error: YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth stream. Why is my stream just not working today? Are you lying to me, YouTube? It looks all right to me. That looks all right to me. Looks, looks right fine. To me. That looks all right to me. No. 
No, it's it's like 240p. No. No, it's it's one one four four p actually. One 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 four four p actually. All right. Okay, maybe YouTube's lying to me. Anyhow, back to the project at hand. Let's save our progress. Uh, I am currently 22 seconds into the project, so um, from here. We're going to drop in the... Oops, I need to make sure I'm not overriding that last one second clip. Okay, it's all the way down here. We're going to get rid of this. Alright, it's time to fill like 30 seconds of audio... Or 30 seconds of video. And show in the important things. Get the model... Get rid of the audio. We'll do what five seconds here, showing the old ratty toothbrush. Uh, let's call this ninety percent. I think that's as small as I can go with it. Hmm. Where's this toothbrush actually on the frame? There we go. Grab this toothbrush. Let's go five seconds of that clip. Zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. Um, oh, my neighbors are at it again today. Just banging, banging, banging. I'm not sure what the hell they're doing. All right, we're going to show the toothbrush. Yep, cool. That looks good. We're going to show... the goop oh I like I like what's happening here that's disgusting so let's take that let's do five seconds of that um yeah we're going to also shrink this one 90%. We're going to move the position a little bit. Like so, I think. Opens up the lid. S sticks a double finger inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disgusting. Okay. Uh, there's this whole spill scene that I want to get in. Yeah. Let's do that. See what five seconds of that looks like. Am I doing the... Okay. Let's see what this looks like. That puts us at 37 seconds. That should still be plenty of time to... to pull up the... Um, to get the models out and actually get scrubbing them. So toothbrush comes out. I'd say dig into your dig into your group and get your model out. Make sure to spill it all over your desk. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then um, once you've spilled it on your desk, make sure to get out <laughs> some tweezers. Let's see, that'll put us at 59 seconds there. Ooh, how much further to pull that out? Yeah. Another two seconds. I think another two seconds is fine. Yeah, we'll do seven seconds there. I could speed that clip up if I want to keep all the um, keep all that information in. So grab the model. And then right here, where does five seconds of scrubbing that model put us? Hmm. I'm wondering if I should just show this whole section of cleaning it. 
and then speed it up. Hey, uh, howdy, Punish Fink. I see you. You can't lurk longer, mate. Hope you have a good stream. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I, I appreciate your your presence. Um, no worries. Uh, no pressure to watch. This is kind of uh, the, the live stream setup for the workflow is really just what's going on behind the behind the scenes. Um, it's it's the work that I'm kind of doing anyways. Uh, just a good way for me to stay focused and stay on task and get this done, as well as provide an opportunity for um, fans of the channel to, to check it out and uh, toss their two cents into it. Okay, so we now have that cleaned up. I'm going to take this whole section... Yeah, we're going to take this whole section right here and we'll go to sequence. No, it's under clip. Clip, speed duration, and then we're going to speed this up, what, a thousand percent? Nine hundred percent? Eight hundred percent? Eight hundred percent's not fast enough. Eight twenty-five? It's getting closer. Eight fifty? Getting even closer still. 875 super close 880 888 885 there we go perfectly five seconds pow and then we should have this nice like high speed scrub down of the model yeah and we can also zoom it in I think 150 And that puts our clip at 49 seconds. So I should be able to do, I don't know, three or four seconds of cleaning the models in water. Maybe a full five seconds of that. Might have to speed some clips up again. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll get rid of this. Almost got it together here. And then we gotta write a script and voice over it. Uh, what can be trimmed down? What can be trimmed down? I think maybe this sequence here could be shrunk a bit if we were to speed duration that and call it like, I don't know, What's 105, 106, 7, 107% will trim a full second off. I like that. This here is like a seven second clip. So I should be able to do something similar. Speed duration, let's call it, let's call it 120. Too much. 110. 15, 16, 17, 116.5. That, that will trim another full second there. Uh, let's see how that looks, though. Pull the model out. Yep, yep, imperceptibly sped up. All right, let's slap these in here. Take a peek. Still at a full minute at this point, so I need to trim some serious time. But like with this clip, there's data that I want to I want to show. So let's do this one and call it 150 percent, 130 percent. Okay, still too long. Still way too long. That could probably stand to go even faster. Let's call it 200%. 210%. 215, 16. 216%. Let's see what that looks like. Pours the water. Tosses the models in it. Alright. And that still gives me... Oh... 
four seconds. I wonder if I could trim another second off of this. Let's try it. Speed duration, we'll call it 110, 115, 116, 115.5. That gives us another full second off that clip. And let's just double check that the stream's running all right. Is everything back to normal? Let's just double check that the stream's running all right. Is everything back to normal? It's looking like it. It's looking like it. It's looking like it. Okay. Um, all right. So back to it. Let's save the project. I think this clip needs to be positioned a little bit to the left so we can see what's going on. Pours the water. Puts the models in the water. Yeah. Okay. And then I should have a nice, um, should have a nice clip that I can showcase here at the end. Where, where does it actually start coming onto the frame? There we go. We want. Just that first frame you can see glove. We'll go back one, trim this off. Now what does five full seconds of that look like? Not enough. I think think it's we're just gonna gonna set this down and then zip it on over hmm I wonder it here there's like this whole kitten caboodle here that I can get rid of get rid of that now what does five seconds look like still doesn't have everything in the frame yet you gotta be kidding me What am I doing setting these things out? Hmm. What does it look like if I just take the last five seconds? Not great, actually. kind of like this whole deal where I put my hand in front of it. All right, let's see what this looks like. So basically I'm jumping around. I'm trying to find a nice clean five seconds to showcase these models. And I think it's this right here. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so with that little inclusion, I now believe that the full video dealy is put together except for a voiceover and then 
we don't have a voiceover and we don't have audio track and then I have to make the chromatic aberration. So let's give this a peek. Pull the models out. Then we're going to use some LA's Totally Awesome. I think this thing needs to rotate. Let's see, it's going negative 11. Let's go from 20 degrees. All right, yeah, that's fun. LA's Totally Awesome comes out. We get our goop. We drop our models in. Uh, from here, we'll get out a toothbrush, an already toothbrush, and then open up our jar of goop and dig in and get the models, making sure to make a huge mess on the desk before we decide to switch on over to a pair of tweezers and pull out the models proper. Yeah, okay. Once we give the model a nice hefty scrub with the toothbrush, we can go ahead and dunk it into some clean water and get all that paint residue off. And once we've done that, these models are nice and cleaned up and ready for some primer to start all over. Perfect. Boom, boom, boom. All right, yeah. So let's save this project. We're gonna go ahead and export this project, ensuring that it is custom size, frame size custom. We're going 1080 wide by 1920 tall. Yeah, it tells me it's invalid. It's fine. We're going to call that chromatic, chromatic aberration stripping short. And then that's going into strip and paint. Now this, this might, um, might lag up the machine a bit, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, all right. We have this nice, clean, chromatic aberration layer now. So we can go back into our project. And... Country Fried Video Production back into Strip and Paint. I'm going to drop in Chromatic Aberration. We're going to add four tracks. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to take a moment to ensure that the stream is running all right. Am I still getting 1080? Yeah, okay. Sounds okay. Things are running okay. Close that out. All right, digressing. We're back to it. Here we are putting in the chromatic aberration layer as per the usual. So I just realized that I screwed up in those aberration layers. I don't need the... I don't need the, um, the static... So I think I can, whoa, 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 whoa. It's okay, I screwed it all up anyways. All right, so to correct this, we're gonna make sure to put an in at the start of this frame right here. And then we're gonna put an out right here. And then we will try that again. So I see what I've done. I've set it to source in out instead of um, instead of the, the total project. So let's do that one more time. Let's choose location as this one. Save. Yep, we're going to replace. Make sure it's the right width and height. And then source in and out. And we're going to try that again. Hopefully not screw it up this time. Do, do, do. I'd like to take this moment while I'm putting things together to give a nice reminder that I do offer a painting service over on Fiverr where you can get your own Battletech Lance custom printed and painted out to your likings. 
Um, link is in the description below. So if you'd like to look into that, go ahead and head on over to Fiverr and um, give me a message. I can even do custom custom gigs for you if, uh, if you'd like. And furthermore, for a $5 addition to the purchase, I can turn your Lance into a video for the channel. So give it some thought, and if you're looking for a custom Battletech Lance, head on over and I can hook it up. Anyhow, that plug out of the way, we're almost done with this here uh, encoding, and we can try again. And I'm going to dump this chromatic aberration short. It looks like it got. It's 56 seconds. That's that's wrong. Something wrong about it. Here, let's let's give it a watch. Why is it only 57 seconds? Why is it only 57 seconds? Or 56 seconds? Should be 57 seconds. I guess it's because it starts at 1. I'm just, I'm just dumb. That's what that is. I am just a big old dummy. Oh, my neighbors are just... Doing their destroying the world. So um, I don't know if it's <laughs> it's come up in um, previous streams or whatever, but uh, so I have these neighbors upstairs. They fight constantly every day, uh, every day, uh, all night long. Uh, they're fighting now. They're smashing furniture. I call the cops. Um, in fact, yesterday I actually had to call the law on them because one of them was screaming out the window that he's trying to throw me out the window. So I called the cops. Cops show up. Cops don't do anything. They tell me to uh, inform the front desk. Actually, it's getting pretty heated now that I mention this. So let me go ahead and take... Um, let me take two or three minutes to call the front desk uh, so let's do a BRB let's cut the microphone and leave the music playing and I'll be right back in like two and a half minutes
Okay, I'm back here. Um, just called, just called the old front desk to try and see if anything could be done about the the noise upstairs, and they their attempt is their excuse. We got a temp worker downstairs, so uh, they said take it up with management. Well, management will probably be here Tuesday. So, fun times. Uh, fun, 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 awesome, fantastic afternoon. I hope y'all are doing well and that you don't have a menace of a neighbor living upstairs that throws furniture across their house uh, six or seven days a week. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, where was I? All right, so back to this. We need to take our chromatic aberration and put two more copies in uh, as it was and they need to go uh, and put here I, I apologize folks I am having a really hard time focusing with all the smashing and banging going on upstairs um, these the people who live above me um, single-handedly um, make my life uh, a living hell. Just it's it's every day. They fight every every day. Uh, when aren't they fighting? Okay, back to it. Let's zoom way in and get to the front here. And for some reason, I keep putting these things in, and then they get off by a couple frames even though it said it was magnet like it said it was clipping to the right spot it's not actually clipping to the right spot okay zoom back out uh, back to the front zoom out all the way so I can actually zoom back in all right okay so what we need to do with the chromatic aberration layers is set up their effects. So we're gonna do an RGB. We're gonna do a color balance on each of them. So we'll take this effect and drag it onto all three of them. Oh yes, that guy had to rev his motor twice in a single block of driving. I'm beginning to think that there are people in this world whose sole purpose in life or at least their whole purpose they believe they have is to make others as as miserable as they are. Uh, anyhow, back to it. So what we're doing with these three chromatic aberration layers, we're taking the blend mode and setting it to exclusion, and then we're setting the RGB to um, full on each one. So. 39 on the top one in the red channel, 39 on the green channel, and then 39 on the blue channel, respectively. And what that's going to do is let me shift these things around and get that really nice um, uh, VHS effect where the, the channels don't, don't line up quite perfectly. So I'll actually, let's get a good spot with a subject on the screen and zoom in so you can kind of see what that's going to look like. And I believe what I do is I shift the red channel. Okay, let me actually shift the channel. I'm going to go four to the right with the red channel. And then we're going to take the blue channel and we're going to go down just one. And you can see we've got this, this, this aberration on the edges. Um, it was brought to my attention by uh, a fan of the channel that um, if you go too far up with it, it makes it a little hard to read. Hard to see the details, if you will. So I have found a good number that seem, seems to work. Just a few pixels off. All right, digressing. So next in this uh, deal, we need to bring in the VHS overlay, get rid of the sound. Get rid of the sound. 
look up to the top track and stick this over top of everything. I'm gonna go to the start here and then make sure that that VHS overlay starts as the static ends. Yeah, like that. Uh, same deal, we'll go to the effects controls, we'll set the opacity to exclusion. And then I believe, if I recall correctly, this needs to be 110% sized. And then we can move it to where the play is at the top. And we're left with this nice VHS feel. It's got some, some blurring. It's got some lines on the screen. It's got some static that goes over top of everything. It makes the whole thing look and feel like a VHS tape. Okay, so from here, we need to go to the end of this clip wherever it starts, wherever the static starts, which is right here. And we're gonna razor off the end of that overlay. Yep, just like that. Cool, perfect. All right, so for all intents and purposes, this video is done and put together. It just needs a voiceover and we'll be able to put together the shorts video which will be released at the normal time so let's go ahead and let's script it up let's script it up notepad write a script live okay howdy let's say let's say howdy y'all um ever Get your hands on some second ever. Have you ever found yourself in possession of fabulous second hand models, but they've, but they're caked in old paint jobs? Worry not, because today we're going to tell you how to strip that paint off without damaging your models. The secret sauce to getting this done is none other than LA's Totally Awesome. Available in, at your local big box store, Dollar Tree, or even online for dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. Just pour up, pour a bunch in a container and toss in your models and then let them sit for about three days. All right. Let's pull up Audacity. Let's pull up Audacity and record that and see where it puts us. Howdy, y'all. Have you ever found yourself in possession of fabulous secondhand models, but they're kanked in old... Kanked. Kanked. Because there's an N in cake. Howdy, y'all. Have you ever found yourself in possession of fabulous secondhand models, but they're all caked up in old paint jobs? Worry not, because today we're going to tell you how to strip that paint off without damaging your models. The secret sauce to getting this done is none other than LA's Totally Awesome. Available at your local big box store, Dollar Tree, or even online for dirt cheap. Just pour a bunch into a container and toss in your models and let them sit for three days. That puts us at 27 seconds. So what does 27 seconds look like? It's too much. 
we'll remove that whole line about secret sauce. We'll remove that line right there. All right, select all this. Uh, one second. I'm gonna close my window. And the reason I'm hopping up to close my window, despite how ungodly hot it's gonna make it in here, is that it doesn't matter how quiet it is at this moment. The second I touch that record button, a motorcycle or a loud car is going to go by or somebody's going to start screaming. It never fails. Okay, here we go. Howdy, y'all. Have you ever found yourself in possession of fabulous secondhand models, but they're all caked up in old paint jobs? Worry not, because today we're going to tell you how to strip that paint off without damaging your models. The secret sauce to getting this done is none other than LA's Totally Awesome. Just pour a bunch in a container and toss in your models and let them sit for about three days. Okay, that looks a little better. We're at 22 seconds and a few frames. Okay, perfect. Um, let's play this back. Let's play this back, hear how it sounds y'all have you ever found yourself in possession of fabulous secondhand models but they're all caked up in old paint jobs worry not because today we're going to tell you how to strip that paint off without damaging your models the secret sauce to getting this done is none other than la's totally awesome just pour a bunch in a container and toss in your models and let them sit for about three days after that dig out an old ratty toothbrush and fit them. after that grab an old ratty toothbrush and dig out your model making sure to spill <laughs> spill a bunch of solvent on your desk before Switching over to a nice pair of tweezers. Fish out that old, crusty, crusty mini and give it a good all over brushing. brush in with that toothbrush the paint should foam up and come right off from here just toss it in some clean water and pick out the last bits of paint just Just rinse it off in some clean water and pick out the last bits of paint and you'll have some nice clean figures ready for a new coat of primer. Okay, so let's make sure I can see where my script is starting again. So the beauty of Audacity here is that I have this voice line that I've already recorded. Let me get this out of the way. And I can hop to the end of it and just start talking immediately again. After that, grab yourself an old ratty toothbrush and dig out your model, making sure to spill a whole bunch of solvent on your desk before switching over to a nice pair of tweezers. Just fish out that old crusty mini and give it a good all over brushing with that toothbrush. The paint should foam up and come right off. From here, just rinse it off in some clean water and pick out the last bits of paint and you'll have some nice clean figurines ready for a new coat of primer. Just like that, they're all as good as new. 
Um, that puts us at 48 seconds. Where does 48 seconds land it? Okay. All right, I can I can build on that a little bit. Let's see where. Rinse it off in some clean water. Where does the make sure to spill it come out at? After that, grab yourself an old ratty toothbrush and dig out your model, making sure to spill. Making sure to spill it is between 26 and 27 seconds. After that, grab yourself an old ratty toothbrush and open up your container. And open up your container to dig out your models. Of course, you'll want to make sure to spill a bunch of solvent on your desk before switching over to a nice pair of tweezers. With the proper tool, fish out that old crusty mini, give it an all over brushing with that toothbrush. That paint should foam up and come right off. And use something sharp to pick out the last bits of paint from the deep crevices. Okay, let's see how those expansions to the to the audio work. Come on, let me click. Jesus Christ. Okay, here we go. After that, grab yourself an old ratty toothbrush and open up your container to dig out your models. Of course, you'll want to make sure to spill a whole bunch of solvent on your desk before switching over to a nice pair of tweezers. Once you've got the proper tool, fish out that old crusty mini and give it a good all over brushing with that toothbrush. The paint should foam up and come right off. From here, just rinse it off in some clean water and use something sharp to pick out the last bits of paint from the deep crevices. And you'll have some nice clean figures ready for a brand new coat of primer. I stumbled over some lines. Crevices. And... Crevices. Once that's done... And once that's done, you'll have some nice clean figures ready for a brand new coat of primer. Okay, that looks good, might sound good. That's 55 seconds. So this starts at one second. So we're gonna look at, where does 56 seconds put us? Uh, you know, it looks like it lines up right, so let's, um, let's run it. I just censored myself, which is unusual. Okay, Country Fried Video Production, we're going to go into Strip and Paint, and we're going to call this Voice Line. Save it. Minimize that. Come over here to our Voice Line, and then we're going to plonk, plonk, that, plonk that in there. All right, let's see how it runs. Howdy, y'all. Have you ever found yourself in possession of fabulous second-hand models, but they're all caked up in old paint jobs? Worry not, because today we're going to tell you how to strip that paint off without damaging your models. The secret sauce to getting this done is none other than LA's Totally Awesome. LA's Totally Awesome. Oh, damn. LA's Totally Awesome. Just pour a bunch in a container and toss in your models and let them sit for about three days. After that, grab yourself an old ratty toothbrush and open up your container to dig out your models. Of course, you'll want to make sure to spill a whole bunch of solvent on your desk before switching over to a nice pair of tweezers. Once you've got the proper tool, <laughs> fish out that old crusty mini and give it a good all over brushing with that toothbrush. The paint should foam up and come right off. From here, just rinse it off in some clean water and use something sharp to pick out the last bits of paint from the deep crevices. And once that's done, you'll have some nice clean figures ready for a brand new coat of primer. 
All right, that looks good. That sounds all right. The the LA's totally awesome thing doesn't quite line up um, like I'd like it, but you know it's fine. Um, it's another lesson in like don't kill yourself doing these projects, right? Like why spend a ton of time doing this if it's if it's short video, right? So like okay. Anyhow, I, I digress. Um, it's the whole it's a whole good enough thing, uh, th which is kind of what this channel's founded on. Good enough is good enough, you know. All right, so I've taken my static sound effect um, and clipped it off at the end. I'm starting at the end, right? So the first second, and then we'll take the second second and plug it at the very start. And that way, just like the just like the way the the video lines up, the audio should line up and make a nice, clean, um, seamless transition. Okay, and then from here, all we got to do is pick a nice background music track for this, and we'll have we'll have a video together. So let's do contributing artists. I'm going for that whole like 80s sound effect thing, right? So I'm looking for. I'm looking for videos that work with that. Does that not want to run? Wow. Can't find it. What do you mean you can't find it? Let's open up media player. Nope, definitely not that one. Uh, but this one. Oh my goodness. Okay. I gotta, I gotta set this to actually work. Let's use VLC to do this. Hmm. I kind of like this track. I kind of like this track. We're going to go with Mr. Preamp there. Let's dump that in. Track two. What we want to do is effect controls. We're going to drop this down. I don't know. 20 decibels. Let's see. Howdy, y'all. Have you ever found yourself in possession of fabulous secondhand models, but they're all caked up in old paint jobs? Worry not, because today we're going to tell you how to strip that paint off without damaging your model. The secret sauce to getting this done is none other than LA's Totally Awesome. Just pour a bunch in a it's container, a little loud. toss in your models, and let them sit for about three days. After that, Grab yourself an old ratty toothbrush and open up your container to dig out your model. Of course, you'll want to make sure to spill a whole bunch of solvent on your desk before switching over to a nice pair of tweezers. Once you've got the proper tool, fish out that old crusty mini and give it a good all-over brushing with that toothbrush. The paint should foam up and come right off. From here, just rinse it off in some clean water <laughs> it's and coming along. something sharp to pick out the last bits of paint from the deep crevices. And once that's done, you'll have some nice clean figures ready for a brand new coat of primer. Perfect. Okay, that's working. Get rid of that, pal. Done with this. We'll change this one's uh, essential sound. We're going to set it to a dialogue option. We're going to set it to... From the television. I'm pretty sure that's the one that makes it sound right. Howdy, y'all. Have you ever found yourself in possession of fabulous second-hand models, but they're all caked up in old paint jobs? Worry not, because today we're going to tell you how to strip that paint off without damaging your model. The secret sauce to getting this done is none other than LA's Totally Awesome. Okay, okay. Just pour a bunch in a container and toss in your models and let them sit for about three days. After that, grab yourself an old ratty toothbrush and open up your container to dig out your model. Of course, you'll want to make sure to spill a whole bunch of solvent on your desk before switching over to a nice pair of tweezers. Once you've got the proper tool, fish out that old crusty mini and give it a good all-over brushing with that toothbrush. 
the paint should foam up and come right off. From here, just rinse it off in some clean water and use something sharp to pick up right. the best bits of paint. Okay, I'm pleased trip. with this. I'm and quite pleased done, with this. You'll have some nice clean figures ready for a brand new coat of primer. Perfect. We're going to save this. We're going to export this project. We're going to export this project to Strip and Paint. We're going to call it Strip It Shorts. Done. We're going to make sure it's the width and height. It's correct. Yes, we're going to do entire source. We're going to export it. This might lag up the stream a little bit, which sucks, but hey, we're, we're getting it done. It's quick. It works. It's fast. Getting this thing done. Um, pretty good time on it too. We're looking at uh, an hour 39 minutes in. Now last time I went a little self-indulgent and did the full upload process to YouTube. I think today we might skip that um, just to, you know, kind of increase the, the time that's, decrease the time that's involved in putting these together. Let's try something here. I'm going to add a, I'll even bring this over here. Let's go ahead and add a VLC video source. We're going to call this, we're going to call this one, um, demo the finished product. Ba -da -da -da. And then we're going to find, we're going to find the file that I just made. Um, what am I even looking for? Strip and paint. There it is. Strip and shorts. Open. Okay that. Alright, so from here what I'm going to do is kill the music and the microphone and um, I'm going to also bring up the live stream I'm going to also bring up the and ensure that we have live stream ensure that we have the nice the audio correct howdy y'all have you ever found yourself in possession of fabulous secondhand models but they're all caked up in old paint jobs worry not because today we're going to tell you how to strip that paint off without damaging your models the secret sauce to getting this done is none other than LA's Totally Awesome. Just pour a bunch in a container and toss in your models and let them sit for about three days. After that, grab yourself an old ratty toothbrush and open up your container to dig out your models. Of course, you'll want to make sure to spill a whole bunch of solvent on your desk before... Back to... Transition back to microphone test one two one two one two one two testing one two three one two one two three. Okay, let's try that again, and um, it should be correct now. Howdy, y'all! Have you ever found yourself in possession of fabulous secondhand models, but they're all caked up in old paint jobs? Worry not, because today we're going to tell you how to strip that paint off without damaging your models. The secret sauce to getting this done is none other than LA's Totally Awesome. Just pour a bunch in a container and toss in your models and let them sit for about three days. After that, grab yourself an old ratty toothbrush and open up your container to dig out your models. Of course, you'll want to make sure to spill a whole bunch of solvent on your desk before switching over to a nice pair of tweezers. Once you've got the proper tool, fish out that old crusty mini and give it a good all over brushing with that toothbrush. The paint should foam up and come right off. From here, just rinse it off in some clean water and use something sharp to pick out the last bits of paint from the deep crevices. And once that's done, you'll have some nice clean figures ready for a brand new coat of primer. Howdy y'all, have you ever found yourself- Oh, that worked. That worked spectacular. Okay. I got to remember that for the future. Um, that I can just play the demo through the OBS. So I think from here, um, we're going to upload this video and have it live. 
uh, probably my regular my regular time. Uh, I'd show y'all my analytics, but I'm not sure if that violates um, some terms of service or something. But basically, I'm going to pick the best hour for tomorrow release, and then this short will be live. Uh, we might go in to do some more stuff tomorrow. If not, I'm looking at sometime early in the week um, as I finish up the 28mm Marauder project. We're looking at putting together a discount code from Aries Games and Minis. Um, so I'm waiting to hear back from uh, Mr. King over there. And uh, should have some nice, fun content out for y'all. So once again, I would I want to thank all of the folks for showing up today and checking out the stream. If you found this here content through the um, through the algorithm, um, go ahead and drop any comments you have down below. Uh, this whole thing is set up so people can see behind the curtain and see what goes into putting together a video for Country Fried Minis. This is kind of the work that I'm doing anyway, so I'm go ahead and streaming it. Um, this is not the normal painting content. This is just getting work done and allowing folks to see what goes into the project and then put their two cents in. You got comments, you got questions, you got things you'd like to see in the video. Um, live is obviously the best place to, to get those in, but um, yeah, drop, drop your comments down below and uh, I read them all, I'll respond and I'll take anything, any input you have to heart um, and put it towards putting together the next content. So once again, I want to remind folks that I do offer a painting commission service over on Fiverr in the description below. Go ahead and hop on over. If you want your own custom printed and painted set of battle mechs to play our favorite tabletop stompy war game, head on over there and uh, negotiate a gig with me. I can work with you. I can do custom offers. Um, so don't hesitate to hit me up. Furthermore, for an additional $5 fee on the gig, I can turn your chosen Lance into a video for the channel. So that's definitely an avenue that I'd love to explore and get the community in on. So check it out. Uh, that's fiverr.com. Some link. It's down in the description below. But digressing, I want to thank y'all for joining me here today. Uh, we're not in the bullshit corner. We are here at Country Fried Minis at my workstation getting work done. And tomorrow we'll have this here shorts live. If you missed it here on the stream, you'll be able to check it on the channel. So I want to thank y'all once again for joining me. And as always, I want you to remember to be happy while you're painting. Anyhow, take it easy, folks. We're going to call it for the day. <laughs>